I know the frustration is eating you alive as you try your hardest to improve as an artist, but are you really doing everything you can? Something spills off, right? With this three mindset shift, you could actually turn things around. And the third one, in particular, it's something you might not be paying much attention to. If you're putting in the effort, but the results just aren't coming, and you're wondering if there's something you're missing, well, you're right. You keep doing the same things over and over without pushing yourself to explore new ideas. How could you explore if you don't even know the bubble you're living in, right? Sometimes you can even draw two eyes in alignment, right? You're not stubborn enough, you give up at the first sign of trouble because you don't have a real purpose. And that's why you can't push past your limits. Without self-criticism, you keep making the same mistakes without even realizing it. And then there are social media. <laughs> Why do some people post a quick doodle and get hundreds of thousands of likes, while your three and a half hour masterpiece is only seen by your mom, your sister and the dog? That can be really discouraging and eventually you give up and stop trying to improve. You expect everything to happen instantly, which is another trap. A lack of focus is at the root of all this. Without it, you leave things unfinished and your drive to create starts to fade. I've been on and off Instagram myself trying to chase followers, <laughs> always with little success. To this day, I only have 145 followers on Instagram, but hey, the right platform for you is out there just waiting for you to find it. For me, it's turning out to be YouTube. And this shows that as artists, we have different ways of expressing ourselves that work in some places and not in others, among different type of, types of communities, because at the end, what you create isn't for everyone and you've got to be smart about interpreting what your audience wants. This video is for anyone who feels stuck. Let's talk about how to avoid these mistakes and what you can do to change things. Imagine being able to map out the perfect path to success in your artistic life. In this ideal scenario, there are three key pillars that support your journey towards artistic excellence. The right mindset, flawless execution, and the ability to connect with your audience. The first mindset shift is all about attitude and mentality. A successful artist nurtures an insatiable passion for discovery. It's not just about curiosity. It's about a real hunger to learn and understand. An artist is an explorer, a pioneer. This desire strives you to explore new horizons and constantly improve. During my first years in art school, the urge to try drawing anything gave me an insane boost. From superheroes to Mickey Mouse, I wanted to test my skills on every terrain. And even now, I don't get how some people can stay stuck drawing the same stuff over and over. Evolution means change. Okay, you might say you have curiosity, but you're not good enough. Well, all of that means nothing without determination. An artist never gives up, facing obstacles with tenacity, knowing that every difficulty overcome is a step toward mastery. And then there is critical awareness. A successful artist is their own toughest critique, capable of coldly evaluating their weaknesses and working on them relentlessly. I've talked a lot about perfectionism and now it's a double-edged sword that needs mastering. Go check out my video on that. Your inner dialogue shapes the outcome of your work. When you master it, your self-criticism will give you an incredible boost. Finally, there is strategic patience also called delaying gratification. An artist knows the results don't come instantly and that perseverance is the key to long-term success. And this might not be obvious, but it has a lot to do with being an entrepreneur and how art, the kind that pays your bills, is a real business and need to be treated as such, whether you like it or not. And I plan to delve into this topic in future videos. The second mindset shift is about execution and focus. Focus keeps coming up for a reason. 
An artist needs relentless focus, the ability to concentrate intensely on a project until it's completed. Because your audience doesn't want to want to be work of art, a potential masterpiece you didn't feel like finishing. People who pay for your work, let's say a commission, want your best effort, not an attempt. But concentration alone isn't enough. The truth is, an artist possesses an innate creativity, a natural impulse to create, innovate, and put their personal touch on everything they do. This isn't just talent. It's a habit cultivated over time, a relentless desire to express yourself through art, which goes hand in hand with being an explorer. And I say it's cultivated over time because first, it necessarily takes time. And second, it has to be intentional by looking at other art and artists, but especially the world around you, and then putting it all together to create your iconic style. Constant and intentional execution is your only turning point in daily practice, both in learning and delivering work. But there is a problem. Execution becomes very complicated if you're already unmotivated from the start. All you have to do is voluntarily channel yourself into the flow. And you can do that by following these four steps. First, get at it. When you're too lazy to draw, just make a few lines. You'll be very likely to continue for at least another 20 minutes. Then practice. It means focus on the right things. Then solidify. Use perfectionism to your advantage. And lastly, move on. Be at peace with what you've done. This is the part where the sense of progress will take place and it will inevitably trigger the next task. Now the third mindset shift, understanding the audience. A great artist doesn't just create for themselves, they also have a deep understanding of trends and audience tastes. Let's be real, we want to be seen, we want to be appreciated, we want people to recognize the blood, sweat and tears we poured into our work. I don't trust those who say they only create art for themselves. Yeah, that's a part of the truth. The other part is they don't want to deal with the fact that no one likes their art. You have to interpret and anticipate what people like, blending it with your unique style. This balance between personal art and sensitivity to trends make an artist not only relevant but also capable of leaving a lasting mark. I didn't like manga for a long time and only wanted to, to draw ultra realistic stuff. But after being exposed to so many different genres and realizing that anime and manga are among the most appreciated things in the world, I wondered if there was really something special about the style, so I gave it a try. Well, now I kinda like it a lot. And if you see my style, it's quite different from what it was one year ago. In summary, an artist's success is built on a strong and determined mindset, flawless execution fueled by endless creativity and a deep understanding of the audience. Cultivating these three areas is the key to knowing yourself and turning your talent into a successful artistic career. I'm developing my channel so that my videos can guide you when you feel lost. If that's what you need, binge watch through my videos. They'll not only give you the inspiration you need to tackle your creativity challenges, but they'll also provide practical solutions to the problems we've talked about. I make each video to help you develop those intrinsic motivators like curiosity and the pursuit of excellence and guide you in maintaining focus and creating a personal project that truly reflects your artistic growth. And it's not just about technique, it's a community where you can find support and connect with other artists who share your passion. Subscribe, find the push you need to take your art to the next level. Like the video and comment what you think about growing your own audience. Bye.